Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Quaker Sports Recap. This winter season has reached the playoff time for most sports. Last week, I stopped by Rifleries Section 6 competition with two championships on the line and also a boys varsity hockey attempt to clinch the division, which I'll tell you about next. Let's get right to it! On Tuesday, our Orchard Park Quakers welcomed the combined team of Sweet Home, Depew, and North Tonawanda. The combined efforts of the three school districts was no match for our Quakers in a game which clinched the division for Orchard Park. Orchard Park opened the scoring 7 minutes and 15 seconds into the first period on a goal by Tyler Bukite off of assist by Cole Perrinhedge and Nolan Zakrzewski. Orchard Park scored one more goal in the first before a four-goal outburst in the second. Orchard Park scored four more in the third, as the dispirited Sweet Home team was looking forward to getting on the bus and probably cheering on the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Carter Zakrzewski and Tyler Bukite each finished the game with two goals, while Jonah Reshore finished the night with four points. Braden Hearn made 10 saves for the shutout, improving his goals against average to a stellar 1.8. I caught up with Coach Fonz after the game to ask him about the team playing with momentum throughout the game. Uh, very easy for us to play. We could just freewheel, but we started slow, but like you said, we took the game over in the second period. What was the message you did said to the goalie after a shutout in a 10 nothing win? To, uh, her just to make, stay awake in his net, because there weren't a lot of shots, and for him to get a shutout, he had to concentrate even more, because they weren't in Arizona a lot. You guys are going to play on Sunday next, so how do you get the team ready after a big win like this and get them calmed down for Sunday? We're, the regular season game is Sunday. We don't start our playoffs until the 20th, but we just got to practice hard, keep getting better. We're really starting to peak right now. What is your message for every team in the state? Every team in the state? Uh, let's hope we can get that far, but we just got to play Orchard Park hockey. Use our speed, move the puck, we'll be okay. Of course, boys hockey wasn't the only Quaker team that saw action last week. Boys and girls indoor track had their team championship. Boys swimming lapped the competition and rifles swept at sectionals. Let's take a look at how all of our teams did. Boys swimming finished first of 13 teams with the Section 6 Class A Championship. Liam Clark led the way with four golds, while Austin Carducci brought home three golds and a silver. In wrestling, Jack McDonald scored a true second at the Section 6 State Qualifiers on a 10-0 major decision. Aiden Rodriguez and Blake Pep each brought home fifth place in the section. In riflery, Orchard Park captured both the three position and 30 shot standing championships. Ivy Backus led the way in the three position, scoring 290 points. In the 30 shot standing, Kathleen Moran and Ivy Backus led the way, each scoring 289 points. Girls hockey dropped a tough 1-0 game against the Lancaster Iroquois debut team in the opening round of the Section 6 playoffs. Boys hockey notched two victories during a high scoring week. On Tuesday, on the road against Lancaster, our Quakers fell behind early 3-1 in the second, before scoring 11 unanswered goals. Sean Robinson, Brennan O'Hara, Carter Zakrzewski, and Drew Vanderwerf each finished the game with two goals, while Vanderwerf, Brady Ciano, and Tyler Bukite each finished with three points. Orchard Park track and field athletes performed well at the Section 6 team championships on Saturday. The girls were crowned champions while the boys finished fourth. Anthony and Max Beckbelly finished first and second in the pole vault, while Max Lymister finished second in the 55 meter dash. On the girls' side, Ali Schmitz and Abigail Bernas each brought home first place finishes, while Tyler Dorsey, Annabelle Chikansky, Noel Barla, and Bernas had second place finishes. The 4x40 team of Hagen, Barlett, Stegner, and Hill also finished first. Girls basketball scored two big wins over Jamestown last week. For the week, Hallie Senfield led the way with 58 points and 20 rebounds, while Laney Babbage scored 22 points with 17 rebounds. And finally, boys basketball had three big wins over Section 6 opponents. On Friday, before a packed Orchard Park crowd, John Doherty led the way for the Quakers, with 18 points, while Colin Colpois added 16 and Chris McDonald added 15 more. Way to go, Quakers! Up next, we have our several so questions segment. This week featuring boys basketball standout Chris McDonald. Let's learn a little bit more about Chris. When did you start playing basketball? What is your earliest memory of playing basketball? 
I think I started in third grade, and all I remember is winning those third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade house basketball league championships with uh, my teammates, like baseball teammates, and like all my friends from like I'm a young age. What is your favorite subject at school? Probably math or science. What is your favorite basketball player and team? LeBron. I like the league too. I'm right. a big LeBron fan. So. I'm Jay LeBron. 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 That's it with all the greatest of all time. Who's your favorite Buffalo Bills player after Josh? Yeah. Probably Diggs. I met him over the summer, so it was really nice. And like, he's a dog. He's a dog out there. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate. Basic. Chocolate. Love chocolate. What is the more important in basketball, blocking or rebounding? I think rebounding. That's how you get extra possession, take possessions away from another team. And what game do you have circled on your calendar? Jamestown away. Best environment to play basketball in, especially on a Friday night down there. Gym's going to be packed. It's going to be rocking. Thank you for watching this week's Quaker Sports Recap. The postseason has begun for most teams. And for others, it is coming up fast. So get out and cheer on our student athletes. I hope to see you at a game match for me. I'll see you in two weeks after the President's Day's winter break with another update. Until then, go Quakers!